So we're going to start this season with Bitter Girl the Musical. It's hilariously funny. It's set to the music of my youth, the Supremes, and all the other great girl bands of the time. And it's a play about getting dumped. And unfortunately, it's very relatable for far too many of us. But it's a lot of fun. And then at Christmas, we're doing A Christmas Carol adapted by Michael Shimada. It's, uh, I think, the most beautiful adaptation uh, for the theater that I've read. And um, Kelly Fox is going to be directing that, and I think it's going to be spectacular. And then in January, we're doing a madcap crazy comedy based on the Jules Verne classic Around the World in 80 Days. So three actors will be playing multiple roles, and they're going to be spinning around our stage as they spin around the world on trains, on steamers, on, at one point, elephants. I'm not quite sure how we're going to fit the elephant on the main stage, but we're working on that. And uh, I'll be directing that. I'm looking forward to working with three fabulous actors. And then we're doing a brand new musical by Jeffrey Straker and Kelly Jo Burke. It was inspired by Camp Firefly, where Jeffrey Straker has been the artist in residence for a number of years. And it, that's a camp for LGBT youth. And Kelly Jo spent some time there as well, and they've created this really powerful, uplifting musical about gay and lesbian youth coming out in order to come in. And we're really excited about putting this show on. And then we're doing a drama called I and You by Lauren Gunderson. This is a play that uh, one of our lighting designers recommended to me. I read it and I just couldn't believe the power of this play. It's a story about two young people, a young woman who's been at home sick for many, many months, and a young man who shows up unexpectedly with an urgent homework assignment. I can't tell you much more because it's a play that the ending itself, as it moves towards its conclusion, is one of the most powerful, hopeful, transformational plays about our capacity to be human. And then the last show is Shrek the Musical. And I've seen the movie many times with my children and my grandchildren and love it. But then I went to see the musical at Rainbow Stage last summer, and I love the musical even more than the movie. So it's going to be a show for the whole family. And then our special event, our big bonus offering next year, is we're doing another production of Buddy the Buddy Holly Story. It's happening at the Casino Regina Show Lounge, uh, and I know this is going to be one that nobody wants to miss. So at this point, the only way to get tickets for Buddy the Buddy Holly story is if you buy a subscription. And that will put you in first in line to get tickets for Buddy Holly. And you can buy a three-play, a four-play, or a five-play subscription. And so you can choose your own packages or buy the whole season. Of course, we'd love to have you here for the whole season. So there you go.